All right, today we're going to create a pie graph with one of the pie slices exploding out into another pie graph. So to do that, we need to put the information so that it is very easy to find. So originally this was just called physical activity and I've added the words walk and run to it. So we're going to change that data value to 13 to represent this. We're going to insert a row underneath. I'm going to call that physical activity other and that is six. So we can get rid of all of the other information that is no longer needed. Now we do want to rank order our data from highest to lowest. Um, so to do that, select all of the data, sort and filter largest to smallest and expand the selection to ensure the text stays aligned with the correct information. So we're now able to create our pie graph. Highlight all of the data, insert, use the drop down to select pie of pie. Remove the chart title because we're going to include this in a report. And if it were me, I would just tend to move where the um, legend is just to the right for now so I can play with the information here. The next thing that I also want to do is add my data values, data labels, and I am going to select one and then choose them to white so that I can see them. Now, when I click on that pie graph, it gives me how many values I want in the second plot graph. Now, I only have two. I've got physical activity, walk and run, and physical activity other. So remove it to two. And now we need to select the data that we want over there. So I need physical activity, walk, run, which is orange. Double click to select that slice and choose it to second plot. The other one is physical activity other, which is six. Again, choose it to second plot. And these last two small ones, we can click on those and take them back to the first plot or the first pie graph. We've now got a correctly presented um, pie graph, except for a couple of small changes. We can see that we can't see the text um, for the data values that are outside the pie graph. That's because we've got white text on a white background, and we just change those to black. The other thing, a pie graph should usually not just have numbers, but should have percentages instead. So when we click on our data values, we get the option to tick on percentage and untick value, and we have a completed pie graph. Best of luck.